Hello YouTube, welcome to another episode of Run Level Zero. I am your host, Init Zero. Today I thought I'd talk to you about Linux desktop sessions and some of the pretty cool things you can do to customize your desktop experience. Uh, a few days ago I, I posted a video on alternate commands and how you could use alias to create custom commands in the Linux environment and specifically how you could use those commands to uh, launch your VirtualBox VMs. Uh, today we're going to take it a step further and show you how you can truly customize your desktop experience. On Linux operating systems, you have the option of installing different desktop environments. Uh, you see that my, my primary desktop is XFCE. On my virtual, my LXLE uh, virtual here, you see that I'm running LXDE as my, uh, my desktop of choice here. Uh, now when you install multiple desktops on a uh, Linux distro, you get the choice of choosing between those desktop environments on login. And those, what launches during those sessions and, and how those sessions are set up are governed by your session files. Um, I'm going to show you how to create a few of those customs because you can really do some neat things with those. Uh, now for purposes of today's demonstration, like I said, we are running the LXLE virtual box within my host system so I can record it. And we're actually going to be running a virtual within that virtual so that I can actually get the recording done. Uh, so let's see how this works out. Um, the virtual that we're going to be running is a live version of Anti-X. It's a lightweight Debian-based distro uh, using the, I believe it's the Ice Window Manager and the uh, uh, Fluxbox. Uh, you have your choice on login. So within your host machine, what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a couple of session files and I have some notes here to show you. The first thing that we're going to do is launch a terminal and we're going to create our desktop file. And I will coat I will uh, put all of these notes in the in the uh, video description. But what we're going to do is we're going to launch our terminal. Now I've already created these uh, session files, these desktop files and session files just for the sake of uh, saving time. But what we're going to do is first we're going to create the desktop file. We're doing this in Nano which is a des which is a, uh, a terminal based text editor but you can use the text editor of your choice just substitute it. Instead of Nano if you want to use gedit just type in sudo gedit the uh, desktop files are located in slash user slash share slash x sessions. And the one that I'm using today is called Debian Desktop. You'll be prompted for your password. And please pardon any thunder you may hear in the background. It's storming today in Northeast Florida. And this is what it looks like. A desktop entry. And all you're going to do, you can copy and paste this right out of your uh, desktop notes here you see I've renamed mine uh, to anti-x session this is what's actually going to be displayed for you to choose on login as you'll see in a few minutes and all this does is point Linux to look here at this session file that we're about to create so it tells Linux when you log in give, give the user this option and if they select this option, you're going to run and load this desktop session file. So, oops, don't want to do that. I hit the wrong one. That's the one I want. <laughs> that would have been tragic. The next thing we're going to do is create that desktop session file. So, once again, going back into the terminal, 
Now we're actually going to create that session file and give it its parameters. Once again, you can use whatever uh, text editor you want to. Now there's a couple things you're going to look at here. This is going to set up our base as a black back, solid black background. There's really only two things that we want to open up here, and this is where you can get really creative. The first thing you must have is your window manager. And on this Linux distro, LXLE is using OpenBox. If you're not sure which uh, desktop manager you're using, you can open up another terminal and issue this command, wmctrl space dash m, and it will show you what, uh, what uh, uh, window manager you're using. The ampersand at the end of the command is telling it to you op to start open box. The ampersand says keep it open even when the terminal has completed or, or closed. Okay, so now we have our window manager open. Next, you can put in any number of desktop or any number of applications you want it to start. Now, the beauty about doing it this way, and in fact, I'm going to take this last part out. I want it in scale mode, not in full screen. The beautiful thing about doing it this way, uh, you can really control what's what loads and what doesn't using your own session files. Um, if you really think this through, if you wanted to, you could even start a, uh, a, a desktop session on login that was nothing more than, say, a web browser or a specific application. Perhaps you have a database that customers will be putting uh, information into, but you don't want them to be able to access any other, uh, any other resources. You can really lock down what people are able to access. Uh, you can um, even uh, create a non-sudo non account that only had very limited access on the computer. And using a session file like this, you could actually turn your computer th for that logon into a sort of kiosk. So if you only wanted the people to be able to access certain websites, you could really go crazy with this. Um, now, this is for demonstration purposes, but if you wanted to, you could actually install. We're going to be using Live CD for this demonstration, but you could actually install this virtual and then go in and install the VirtualBox guest editions so that this thing would start in full screen with shared folders on the computer. So you could really be, instead of dual booting your uh, computer, you could have four or five virtuals installed that you could choose from on each login. And then you could go in and set this up, your virtual, to log automatically log on your user. So that when you log in one time at the host system log on screen on this session, it'll automatically log you in. So it'll seem much more seamless. Okay, this will all make sense here in just a moment. So we're going to control O to save the change, control X to close it. The last thing you want to do is that session file you have to make executable. So you're just going to chmod plus x, that makes executable, and then the path to the session file that we just started, or that we just created here. So that makes it executable. So let me show you what this does for you. And there I go again, selecting the wrong one. So remember, we have the anti-x VM configured, we're going to close that. We're going to log out here. All right. And now on our login screen, you can see that we were in the Ubuntu session. When we click it, there is our anti-x session there. We're going to choose that. Log in one time. And this is where it would have been handy if you would have configured installed your, your virtual and configured it for automatic logon so when you log on here it'll bring you right into your uh, virtual session. You see my virtual just started and it's logging me directly into my virtual of choice. What's great about this is we don't have to worry about um, 
we don't have to worry about all those unneeded uh, applications running in the background on your host system. So that's conserving RAM that you can give over to the virtual. So if you configured a host system that was bare bones and then had four or five virtuals running in it, you could give most of that host RAM over to the virtual and uh, literally be running four or five different uh, desktops on one, one machine. Well, this has been Init Zero for another episode of Run Level Zero. Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you rate, subscribe, and comment below. I hope you find this helpful. We'll see you again with another episode soon.